So what percentage of men have dressed up as a woman? The answer is 25%. Mm. Sorry. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We're into the last bit of this morning's show. I Can't love the tell. taste of placenta in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> We're asking why British boys love dressing up in women's clothes. Michael, Carol and Stefan will give their thoughts and views in a moment. Yours too on the usual number, 027 173 5555. Now, Monty Python, Little Britain, an eight and a half hot mum, that Queen video with Freddie doing the vacuuming, Benny Hill, Les Dawson, our entertainers love a bit of cross-dressing. But the tradition goes back much, much further than that. Shakespeare's women, of course, all originally played by fellas. And even today, the West End is littered with blokes dressed in drag. <laughs> the fact showbiz tights love dressing up in women's clothes is hardly a big surprise. Look at that. <laughs> hardly a big surprise. But plenty of big butch strapping fellas do as well. Do you remember the story of the two cage fighters, Daniel Lurwell and James Lilly? There they are. They went out for a big night in Swansea this summer, dressed as ladies, only to find themselves set upon by yobs, who got one almighty shock when these unlikely tough guys came back at them. Psychologists tell us that men get satisfaction wearing something they know society says they can't. Maybe it's simpler than that. Maybe we secretly wonder what it's like to wear a dress. What is it like, Michael? Bloody marvellous. Really? No. <laughs> yeah, it, it's really good fun. It's quite liberating as well. It's very and British. It's, it's te it is terribly British. And uh, with Hairspray, it was, it was not about being a, a, a panto dame or go, look at me, I'm a bloke in a frock. It was, it was, a, it was, there's a reason why the part is played by a man, because it would be cruel if it was by a woman. But having said that, you, you do look at the tradition of, of cross-dressing. Uh, I don't know what the statistic is, but I... Uh, well, they I, say 25 I think it's got to be more than that. 99%. More than that. Yeah. Uh, you know, if, you, if there's a Vickers and Tarts party, the yeah. bloke will go as a Tart. Yeah. It's, it's, it goes without saying. There's something that's funny about it. Also, I think blokes are a bit jealous that we don't get to dress up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, we yeah. used to. You know, that, that whole Even thing. Even out, dicky boats. Yes, yeah, so whatever. Boring. We want an off-the-shoulder Balenciaga. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a pair of slingbacks and a load of big jewellery. <laughs> 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 Stefan, are you, are you partial to a little bit of yeah, skirt yeah, action? I, I look quite good in a pair of tights, actually. A, a bit hairy and clumpy <laughs> around here, but, yeah, it's Why it is, it's Britain? Fun. Why Britain, though? I don't know. I, I wonder if it is that. It's, it's the Elizabethan times. Um, yeah, That's women weren't allowed on the stage, off, so it no. started there. And, and um, we've, we've still got the, the strongest panto. Um, oh, the only panto tradition yeah. in the world, yeah. yeah. The fact that men who want to dress up as women, presumably they've studied how we look. Well, you are everywhere. Yes. So, why do they always get it so badly <laughs> wrong? So, for me, whenever I see guys dressing, there's two looks. There's the Haley Cropper look, which is like a, a baggy crimpily dress with an acrylic cardi, or and a bad wig, or there's the Bet Lynch over the top sequin job yeah. with 10 inch thick make makeup, mm. as we've seen with Alex Reed, and who Jordan is now taking makeup lessons from, obviously. And they just get it <laughs> so. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> any chance I can, as you know. So, but you know, they, you just get it wrong. But what I do see your point is that, you know, but women, women can change the way they look instantly. We yeah. can get up in the morning look, looking like a bag of spanners, can't we? Within 10 minutes, <laughs> bit of makeup, bit of well, gloss. Goes so on, it goes on. All you can do is have a shave or not. Yeah. And that, that's no the, that, that was the point in, in, of, of, of hairspray, in that this, this kind of dowdy, muntery woman yeah. suddenly goes through this transformation into a butterfly. You look back in, into, in the past, and it was the men who were the peacocks. You look yeah. at the yeah. regions, you Daddy look at the Elizabethan yeah. time, and all of that. Yeah. And you look in, in, in nature, and it's always the male who does the display, and yeah. The female who is the brown kind of so how whatever. Come, yeah, it makes you wonder why it's swapped round here. Isn't I, it? Yeah, it no. does. <laughs> <laughs> what do our audience have to say about this, Eric? <laughs> well, I, as you can see, I'm dressed as a woman. Woo! No, no. Yeah. Yes. So two after two and a half years of working here, Matthew finally got me into a dress. Are you happy now? No, I'm happy now. Indeed. Yeah. Well, Not I do feel very liberated, and I feel I, free. It's I, I uh, kind of fun. Could, we could recommend a bit of waxing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, <laughs> in a few places. Eric, but, close your legs, love. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going, I'm going uh, for the, the lady next to you. What does she think? Love the scarf. Renee, right? hello. Thank you. Welcome. Um, hello. I think it's fun, basically, and I think it's a little bit of taboo breaking you know are you suspicious of a man in a dress no I just think um, most men don't want to be women they're just having fun they're just showing off I mean it, and it's also tradition it's what we've been doing since panto yeah. and you know when people go out 
and bachelor parties and stuff, you know, the man would dress up as a woman and the woman would dress up as a man. But it is a very British thing. But in America... Why? Why British? I don't thing? know. I think it's just been done throughout the years. And I think also because, you know, people find that in Britain that we seem to be, like, repressed. But, um, in, in fact, we've always liked to, to show off. And when I don't think we, we see it as an affront to our masculinity. In America, though, they don't it, do that. Yeah, but, I mean, sticking to what you say, not an affront to masculinity, it's quite interesting that, I mean... Carol's right that we do, we do it sort of very badly. It's, it's kind of like a send off, isn't it? I mean, huge rugby boats in. I don't think you're. I think that serious cross dressers aren't doing it as a joke. They're doing it because they want to, they want to look and yeah, dress yeah, like a yeah, woman. Yeah. But they, they kind of get it wrong. But, you know, question for anybody who's married, OK? We're saying it's, it's awful. If my husband came home after 17 years of marriage and said, um, I like dressing as a woman, I, w I would find that really hard to cope with. I, I find it. Would you, would you not find it hard? Yeah, I reckon so. It's a thought, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You that's your lot. Well. That's your lot for today, folks. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this morning's nonsense. Uh, many thanks to the one and only Mr. Michael Ball for joining us this morning. Uh, I hear there's a, a new DVD called Past and Present, oh. which is out now. And good, good, luck with, good luck with hairspray as well, the truck. Uh, Stephen Carroll, fantastic. So one more time for the panel. Come on. Oh.